For a good number of my clients, the most important factor in deciding on their next home isn't actually anything that's inside the home at all. It's the outdoor space. The front yard, the backyard, is there a pool or a water feature? These are critical factors to many home buyers. So today let's take a look at my five favorite yards currently on the market in the Brookwood High School District. Now keep in mind, these homes range from the mid threes up to the high sevens. So we're not talking all million dollar houses here. These are affordable, kind of run of the mill homes in the Snellville area. First up, this one has taken great advantage uh, of their outdoor space and maximized it. You can see they've got the fire pit area in there. They've got the trampoline. They've got a little outdoor shed. It's, it's mostly flat. It does have some slope to it, but it's just a great looking backyard and a deck overlooking it all. This one, as you can imagine, is towards the higher end of the price range. Uh, you've got the double deck with actually kind of the third terrace level down there. Just a ton of outdoor space here. I love that they built the deck around the tree. I always think that's a, a, a kind of cool feature. And finally, you can't argue with your own personal putting green, a little bit of extra room back there, and some disc golf practice areas. This one, now there's not anything super special about the yard itself. It's big, it's open, but it all leads down to this beautiful lakefront area. And ig ignore the mess here. It's impossible to keep leaves off a pool cover in the fall, uh, but you've got the pool, you've got a little hammock there, and all of that sits up on top of the hill overlooking the lake. This one's on the lower side of the price range, but it's a great front yard space. I love that huge magnolia up front. And then the backyard is, is really simple, but it's, it's perfect. It's everything you need. It's flat. They've got great grass growing. They got a little garden area over there. And it's a good amount of outdoor deck space to enjoy as well. Finally, this one's got a, a big outdoor deck area, a second little finished terrace area down here. You got the outdoor fire pit situated towards the back of the lot with a little shed. And you can kind of see it here. It's not a great photo, but there's a swing that sits at the very back of the lot there. You don't have a neighbor behind you for a long way. It's just so nice and private and secluded back there. So no matter what the most important factor in deciding on your next home is going to be, even if it's something that's not in the house at all, uh, let's talk about if the Brookwood District might be the right place for you and your family to land.